Earthbed. Good day, learners. This is Earth Pen. For today's topic, we are going to talk about trigonometry. So, what is trigonometry? In Greek, trigonon means triangle, and metron means to measure. Therefore, trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies relationship between side, lengths, and angles of triangles. Trigonometry also deals with one kind of triangle and only one kind and this triangle is a right triangle a right triangle is a triangle that has one angle that measures 90 degrees there are some parts of the right triangle that we need to know when dealing with trigonometry now let's say that this right triangle has an angle theta the opposite of theta is called the opposite side. Next to the angle theta is the adjacent side. And across the right angle, the one with the back symbol, is called the hypotenuse. And it is also the longest side of the triangle. Now let's talk about the three main functions in trigonometry. And these are the sine, cosine, and tangent. Have you ever heard about the expression so katoa? These expressions are used so that we can easily memorize the formula in finding sine, cosine, and tangent. Now for the expression so, S stands for sine, O stands for opposite, and H stands for hypotenuse. Therefore, the formula in finding sine theta is just opposite over hypotenuse. Now for the expression ka, C stands for cosine, A stands for adjacent, and H stands for hypotenuse. Therefore, cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And lastly, for the expression toa, T stands for tangent, O stands for opposite, and A stands for adjacent. Therefore, tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Let's take a look at this right triangle here. So according to So Katoa, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Therefore, in this triangle, the opposite of angle theta is 6 and the hypotenuse is 7. Therefore, sine theta is equal to 6 over 7. Now cosine theta is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse. So again, in this problem, the adjacent is 5 and the hypotenuse is 7. Therefore, cosine theta is equal to 5 over 7. And for the tangent, we know that tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So for this triangle, Tangent theta is equal to 6 over 5. Now let's have another example to further understand the concept of Sokatoa. For example, you have a right triangle that has an angle of 20 degrees and the opposite side measures 10 meters. Find the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Now in this example, we need to analyze first the given values so that we will know what formula we will use. The opposite side of the angle 20 is given which is 10 meters and the hypotenuse is unknown. Also, we cannot use the formula of cosine and tangent since there is no given measurement for the adjacent side. Therefore, in this problem, we will use the formula of sine. The formula of sine is sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Theta is equal to 20 degrees and the opposite side is 10 meters. Therefore, the equation will become sine 20 degrees equals 10 meters over hypotenuse which is denoted by letter H. 
Now the next thing we need to do is cross multiply the equation. So 1 times 10 is 10. And this cross multiply the sine 20 and h will be equal to h times sine 20 degrees. And then divide both sides by sine 20 degrees. Therefore the equation will become h equals 10 over sine 20 degrees. Therefore, the hypotenuse is 29.24 meters. Now, let's try another example. Suppose you have a right triangle that has 35 degrees and the adjacent side is 45 meters. Find the value of x. Now, relative to 35 degrees, we have opposite side which is x and adjacent side which is 45 meters and we know that tangent is opposite over adjacent therefore we can use this formula in finding the value of x the equation will become tangent 35 degrees equals to x over 45 meters and then multiply both sides by 45 therefore it will become x equals 45 times tangent 35 now let's use our calculator to find the value of x and also make sure that your car calculator is in degree mode so the value of x is 31.51 meters now let's have another example find the value of x in this right triangle that has an angle of 55 degrees and a hypotenuse which is 25 meters now relative to 55 degrees we need to find the adjacent side which is denoted by x and a hypotenuse of 25 meters cosine is associated with adjacent and hypotenuse therefore we can use this formula in finding the value of x so the equation will become cosine 55 degrees equals to x divided by 25 meters then multiply both sides by 25 and the equation will become x equals 25 times cosine 55 degrees and then by using our calculator we can now get the value of x which is 14.34 meters so that's the concept of trigonometry but why do we need to study all of this can we use it in real life of course, yes, mathematics is very important in our life. Therefore, all of the topics in mathematics including trigonometry are very useful and important in our life. Let's have a real life example that involves trigonometry. Imagine you went to Paris to see the Eiffel Tower. While taking picture, you observed that the angle of elevation from the distance you were standing to the top of the Eiffel Tower is 45 degrees and the height of the Eiffel Tower is 300 meters. Now, you wanted to find how far you are from the base of the Eiffel Tower. So in order to find out the answer, you need to use the concept of trigonometry. Let's use variable x to denote your distance from the base of the Eiffel Tower. Now, relative to 45 degrees, we have opposite side which is 300 meters and adjacent side which is denoted as x. We also know that tangent is associated with opposite and adjacent. Therefore, we can use this to find the value of x. The equation will look like this. And then, we need to cross multiply it to make the variable x all by itself at one side of the equation. And then use the calculator to find the value of x. Again, make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. Therefore, the value of x is 300. So your distance from the base of Eiffel Tower is 300 meters. So that's a real life example that uses the concept of trigonometry. What can you say about this topic? Easy, right? I know many students fear this topic, but if you know the basic concept of this, then you have nothing to fear at all. That's it guys, did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you learned a lot about this topic trigonometry. 
Also, you can watch our other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.